Okay, I'm so excited for this video because I'm going to be reading some of Alaska Yangtze's favorite books from Looking for Alaska. Not gonna lie, I was obsessed with this book when it first came out and Alaska is definitely one of my favorite fictional characters. I'll be reading the books that she references both in the novel and in the TV series. Though I think the adaptation is quite accurate for the most part. Alaska is a big reader as we all know because she has a large collection of books which she called her life's library. She is such a fascinating character so I'm really interested to see what her book taste is like. So I've chosen three of her favorite books here and I'm gonna read them and see if I like them just as much as her. Also, I never used to like stacking my books on the floor but because of Alaska, it's just my favorite thing ever now. So the first one that I read was of course The General Miss Labyrinth and this is perhaps Alaska's most favorite book of all time. She talks about this book constantly in the story and even recommends it to Miles. And a big part of looking for Alaska is about her finding out the meaning of the line in the book. This book is really beautifully written and I just love the descriptions a lot. Although it took me a really long time to get into the story. And the story is told both in the past and the present so there are a lot of flashback scenes. I don't really pick up a lot of historical books so I was scared that I wasn't gonna enjoy this one. I mean, I don't think this is my favorite book ever. I'm sorry Alaska but I still really enjoyed it. The next one that I read was Cat's Cradle and Kurt Vonnegut is definitely one of Alaska's favorite authors. She references him a lot and we actually see her reading this book in the Thanksgiving episode with Miles. I actually love this book a lot. I read Slaughterhouse 5 also by Kurt Vonnegut a while ago and I love that book. So I wasn't surprised that I actually enjoyed this one as well. In fact, I actually think I like this one more. This is a really short book but extremely fast paced as well so I was able to get through this pretty quickly. I can totally see why Alaska enjoyed this book so much. I mean, it has great characters and some really funny moments. So thanks Alaska for this recommendation because I really enjoyed it. And the last book that I read was Another Time, which is a poetry collection by Auden. The line that Alaska mentions when he's talking to Miles about Auden is in a poem called As I Walk Out One Evening. And one of Alaska's favorite lines was you shall love your crooked neighbor with your crooked heart. I love this poetry collection. I thought the poems in this were just so beautifully written. Some of the poems stood out more than others, but I still really enjoyed most of them. And when Alaska says that the poems say so much about love and brokenness, you know, I kind of agree with her. And these are all the books that I read that Alaska Young has recommended. I had a really fun time reading these books, so I think it's safe to say that Alaska's book taste is incredible. You know, I really want to reread this book soon because I can't explain the chokehold that John Green characters used to have on me.